Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and happy Friday. This is a Vera Bradley haul for you, and it's a pretty good size one because my store, as you call, it's in Wisconsin, but they just reopened, and as you know already, the reopening sale is 30% off everything, and I had a bunch of coupons, um, so pretty much everything ends up being about 50% off because items that already were um, retired were 50% off, and then you get 30% off of that, which is even better. And then the rest was 30 plus $20 coupons. Anyways, it works out. But before we get into the haul, I have one item to share. And it's um, one of those alibi things that I missed on my last Vera video. I was talking about Petite Garden and I shared my collection, but I neglected to grab the duffel as well. So let's take a quick look at that. It is of course the same pattern and the same styling. So it has the canvas straps with the chambray gray trim on it. It does have the nice zippers and the faux leather zipper pull ribbon style. And it also has, like the tote, it has that extra trim on the side, court, the side thirds. So in this case, it's actually a chambray trim, not just a double stitching, but it goes all the way around the short end of the bag until the strap. So the middle section doesn't have it, but it goes around both ends. Um, this bag, unlike the duffels prior to, um, this one actually has a strap, a removable, adjustable, padded strap. It is that same canvas um, strap, which is really nice. It is metal fittings, which of course I love. Now the newer duffels in the regular retail line do have straps, but all the duffels I have don't except for this one and the lighten up, but that's plastic, so it's a totally different thing. Anyways, outside the bag, you have a nice big zipper pocket right here in the front. That's the only pocket. You have slip pocket on the end, but not on the other end. So just one end and nothing on the back. So it's just the one pocket. Inside, you have nothing on the front, and then you have three separate, well actually, okay. So let me just kind of turn this side of it inside out for a second, because this is worth taking a closer look. Um, just slightly, it's not super exciting or anything, but, but it is worth a, a little more detailed look. Because of the way that it's sewn on, you do have three separate mesh compartments. It is a little bit of stretchy to that, which is great, and, and it's just nice. So the stretchy is the elastic, not so much the mesh. But because of the straps in between and the way they sewed it, you actually also have two more mesh slots, which you could use, not that you're necessarily putting a lot of pens in your duffels, but you could put a pen there very nicely, actually. Or you could put like um, a skinny hand sanitizer spray, like I have one of those, that could go there. Anyway, so just a little bit of a twist that you have that extra space that's otherwise not so usable it's just because the way they sewed it on there. So anyway, that is that. But it is a nice bag and of course it's the same lovely pattern and it is a large duffel. So when you look at the bottom, it's quite big. Yeah. And the straps go down but not all the way around but they're plenty, plenty well tacked in. Okay, so all right. You want to do a duffel folding lesson we get to that because now you got to fold this stuff it back up there are two main ways you can fold them one way is kind of a rectangular way where you just oh you know what forget it i'm not even, just, I'm not even gonna fight with it in the middle of a haul video yeah another time we'll do that another time. okay but let's do this haul so the first item i got is the foxwood note cube it does have um the beautiful foxwood pattern there's a rabbit on the back, a chipmunk on the side. But funny thing with the foxwood, you know, it's the namesake and there's no foxes on it. And this is one of those things where all of these are printed the same. So it's not like pattern placement is changed one to another. It's just sort of interesting to me why they did that that way. I mean, it's okay. I just, I like the fox and it's in the name. This other one is Tossed Posies. Um, Pretty Posies, the partner pattern was the, this is breast cancer pattern. And Tossed Posies was the lighten up version or partner pattern. This one has actually a trim around the edge of the note cards, uh, sort of a, looks like a, 
kind of like the coral or a dark orange or reddish color. They do come with a little pen. I like to use a bigger pen and put it in the hole, that's fine. This one, oh, you know what? This one does have a, an edge as well. It's just black, so it's kind of masked. But, but yeah, so there you go. So I got a bunch of those actually. I won't say how many, but I got several others. I just showed the samples of the ones I selected, but I got them as gifts for friends for the holidays coming up as well. I got journals to go with them, so just a little thing. So these are the small journal in Pretty Posies and Foxwood. And this is actually Foxwood Menagerie, even though the name on it is just Foxwood. But that's the interior pattern. And see, this makes sense. They gave you a fox. They gave you a lot of the critters. Pretty much all the critters are on this. Um, so that's nice. Why didn't they do it on that? I just don't understand that. But little things, details. I like details. Okay. Next item is the cozy slippers. I have oodles of these and I just love them. This one is in Floating Garden. And um, I, I also have the Bomb Bomb Medallion ones, which I actually bought first, funny enough, it's the way the patterns are coming out. Um, and so it's not a perky color, it's not bright and happy, but it's lovely. It's embroidered on the top, this nice embroidery on both of them, obviously. They're super, super soft. Comfy, cozy are we, it says on the tag, but yeah, super great. I just love these. They have the non-slip bubbles on the bottom to help out, uh, but they're just warm and cozy and soft and comfortable, but not overheating. That's what I like about them. And yeah, so that's that. Next item. Uh, let's talk about these two items kind of together. This is the Travel Takes Collection, and this is the Fruit Grove Pattern. And what I've got here is I have the manicure kit. This is now my third manicure kit. I know you don't need that many, but you know, sometimes you just want it to match um, or at least semi-match your stuff. And this one has the tag on the inside, so we'll just put that aside. But inside you have some scissors, some clippers, some tweezers, a little file, um, a file and then a picker, you know, to clean out from under your nails or push back your cuticles or whatever you do with that thing. Um, me, I mostly just use things on the fly, like you're out and about and whatever, you need to fix something. But it's a really cute pattern with your cherries and strawberries and watermelon, and it just says, nailed it, right on the front. And the Vera Bradley is on the back, embossed as well, so it's kind of a metallic silver overprint. But it is a navy blue background, really beautiful pattern. This is a, Fruit Grove was a limited release. They, they didn't come out with a lot of things Pretty much the whole travel takes, the small backpack, the all-in-one, and that's pretty much it. It's just very, very limited. I have most of it now, funny thing. Um, but this is a contacts case. Why did I get a contacts case when I don't even wear glasses? Because I thought this was great useful for a lot of things. It has this little section down here, which of course is designed for your little contacts case, but which does not come with it, by the way. But I thought this case would be great to stick a couple, a few masks inside of it because it's nice big so you just fold them in half and you can put some masks in it and you have a few masks on the go in a little case. That was what my thinking was. But also, whole COVID and masks and all that bleh, aside, this is great. You could put a couple chapsticks, you could put um, some other things in here, a little thing here and you could put your chapstick here. Um, you can use it as a little mini tech case with your, like, your ear, earphones and your charger or just a place to wrap that around your cables, your charging cables, you know, whatever. And then it has a mirror. So if you like to have a mirror in your purse, then there you go. Anyways, it's a nice little size. I thought I'd give it a try. I don't expect I'm going to be buying a bunch of this item, but this is just such a cute pattern. I figured there's a guarantee I will find something to use this with and for. But that's just me. Okay, this next one, oh no, I, forgot, I took the tag off. It's the um, Silver Pearl, I think it's called, something like that. It's the silver, like metallic, um, and it's that, I don't want to say rough, but it's sort of a plasticky feel. It's not plastic, it's not PVC, it's not vinyl, but it, it's, yeah, it doesn't feel like fabric, it's, it's something else. But anyways, they have bigger pieces in it, I just have not gotten on board with like the pearl stuff because I don't like the texture of it. There's something 
I just generally don't like, and I have a concern that all of that would wear off. Now that hasn't proven to be the case, which is great. It's still just not really my thing. So I got this, just the lanyard. I might end up getting the zip ID as well, but we'll see. Um, because this is a neutral colored lanyard. And so for all of those misfit zip ID cases that I have, um, this just might be another catch all. The other thing was, um, I thought it would be good for cruises because even though it's not blingy, not truly, it is metallic and it does have, you know, that metallic silvery sheen to it. So when you're wearing something just a little dressier and you don't want a bright, colorful um, lanyard on there, just kind of something you could take a neutral to tone it down. And yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I have tons of lanyards though, so it's not going to go to waste, even so. The next thing is the inner loop keychain. This is in Bon Bon Medallion. And I have a couple of these now. My first one I got was in Lilac Medallion. And it is, the Lilac Medallion one is skinnier and a little bit shorter, but same idea. Um, this one is just a little more robust, which actually I prefer. I, just, I like this one. Um, so this one has the Bon Bon Ditsy on the inside of it. I know this isn't really a great pattern swatch to look at, but but you get the colors and that's really the key. So you got your dark gray background, you got sort of a mint teal, pink, coral, yellow. It's, it's a nice mix. It's, it's a very, like if you look at it one time, you might think depending on what part of the pattern you saw, you might say, oh, that's kind of a dark pattern. Like maybe you're seeing that part here. Um, but then when you see those other parts, you're like, oh, it's very bright and cheery and springy and yeah. so. It's an interesting pattern. You sort of never know what you're gonna get. I don't think you could get bad placement, but I think there are, for the bigger pieces, some better placement. For this, you can't miss. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Okay, and then like I said, Foxwood stuff was on sale, so I got a couple of Foxwood items, not just the note Cuban notebooks, but this is the Iconic Coin Purse, and the lovely ladies, shout out to the Mayfair Mall Vera Bradley store in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, and specifically Diane, who just always helps me out. But those those gals up there are just great. Um, that's why I keep going back. <laughs> but they're great. They help me pick pattern placements. Um, sometimes there's, it just is what it is, but I trust them. They kind of know my interests and whatnot. Um, so they help me with these things. Um, there was no foxes. You yeah, go figure. This is a retired pattern now, so it's been picked over. But I got a lot of purple on here, some intact flowers, always a good thing. Nice mix of colors, which is great. And I do have an intact, cute little chipmunk, the whole chipmunk on the back. So that's great. And actually, whatever's the front and whatever's the back. This doesn't actually have a Vera Bradley tag on it. I mean, it has a tag, but like a tap tag. I thought these did, that's funny. But anyway, inside is of course Foxwood Menagerie. This has, um, one card slot or sec slip in it, whatever you want to call it, on the one side, and nothing on the other. And then it does have a corner elastic that kind of runs down this back side, just one little elastic across it. So you can put your chapstick or whatever in there. Inside, I got good placement, sort of. I mean, I do have a little fox right by the elastic. So you can kind of see him right there, the full fox. Got a gerbil, a woodpecker. What else have I got? Chipmunk, half a headless gerbil. <laughs> I got a quail, anyways, but I got a fox. Yay, got a fox. Okay, and the other item is the um, Iconic Slim card case. This one isn't RFID either, which I think is funny. I think that they should be specifically for cards, but this is in Foxwood as well. This has pocket here, pocket here, so two slips or card slots. And then same on the other side, card slot, card slot, and then a big slot in the middle. I got another one of these. This is my third, I think, third or fourth. Um, but I got them just to fit inside of things. Like when you wanna go in the light days with the small bags, which I've been doing a lot lately, it's just a nice way to have your extra cards. Um, you could even put cash, but obviously you put it inside something else. And since it's not RFID, you definitely want to protect it. But there was, again, no foxes left. But I think overall the pattern placement here is pretty good. And even though this is a separate section, it actually looks like that flower goes together, which is really cool, actually. And then on the back, I got a rabbit. 
yeah, that was the best I could do. And they were great enough to pick that out. So thanks, Diane, well done. Um, the only little feature is the little Vera Bradley button on there that just kind of says BB. Okay, enough about that. The next item, I got a Clearly collection. This is my first item from the Clearly Canadian, or not Clearly Canadian, that was a drink anyways growing up. Clearly Colorful Stadium crossbody set. And the reason I waited and got the bonbon was because some of the other ones didn't come with this other bag inside. And I thought that actually is a nice touch because you don't necessarily have to show everything that's inside. You just have to have the clear bag to get into places, right? So I thought this is just a nice thing. Like maybe you have girl stuff you gotta take with you on that event or whatever. But I also thought this would be great inside other bags because of course, so as long as I'm always looking for the deal, like the smart thing that you can use with other things like the four piece cosmetic sets and whatnot. So this is essentially the size of the mini cosmetic, but it's actually kind of thin, um, which is perfect for this bag, it is perfect. But I actually really like that for other bags because it, it can fit in some of your smaller bag, slimmer profile things. And yet you can still carry usable things in it. Pattern placement wise, this is what I'm talking about with Bomb Bomb Medallion. You really cannot go wrong. Um, what we're looking at here looks like the outer part of a medallion that would be centered more over somewhere by my palm. And then the back, you have a different swath of it, but again, you got a medallion portion. But it's nice. You definitely get two different looks completely of this pattern. This section here is maybe a little darker and this side has, you know, anyway, you get what I'm saying. So the bag itself is a nice little size, perfect for what you need. What are you gonna take? For me, I'm going to a basketball game at U of A maybe. I need my phone, I need my key, my vehicle, my house. So phone, keys, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and some money, honestly. So I'll take a zip ID, throw that in here. I have my phone and my keys and that's it. Um, I don't necessarily need to even take this with that few things. I put a phone in one pocket, zip ID in the other, keys in the front pocket, be hands free. But maybe you wanna take some chapstick or um, some other little thing that you need, or maybe you're on your cycle and you want to take something private to take care of that, you know, whatever. You do you. <laughs> so, okay. But it does have a nice crossbody strap. It is um, cotton material, cotton trim, pattern trim, um, but it is plastic fittings, which is, of course, not my favorite. Fine, totally fine for this bag. But the tag over here is a little bit of a step of class. I guess it's on the side, which is fine, kind of like the VBU line. But I, I can see why they wouldn't want to sew it into the plastic. That would be fine, but it's nice what they did there. I kind of like that. Yeah, so that's that. Next up, I've got a bunch of masks, and these came from the paper store. Oh, I won't say her name again. My stupid little Echo Dot is talking to me. I think she thought I said her name. Whatever it was, she didn't know it. So stupid. Okay, so, but Paper Store had a sale and it did apply to the masks, which was great. That's always good because they're not, the, none of the discounts at Vera apply to them. But they sell their masks in pairs. So you can't just get like the one pattern you're looking for. You got to get two and they're all mixed pairs. I don't remember now which one was in which pair. I think they're aligned the way they were, I think. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I bought three pairs because I wanted certain patterns. I wanted my Moonlight Garden because I love it. I love it. Um, and so I like the colors and I have a lot of Moonlight Garden. So if I wanted to go matchy-matchy with my bag or something, that's a great option. I've got the Foxwood. And I haven't opened it yet, but I didn't get any Fox, I'll tell you that. I wanna look at this pattern though, like I wanna see. I don't think I got any critters actually. No critters there. No critters. Just the pretty foxwood, but I did get a lot of the purple, so that's always good. Then I got Ellie Flowers. Because, you know, nice symmetric blue and purple. We got the Butterfly Flutter. Just thought it was really colorful. Black with colorful front print. And I've got kind of some decent clips of like the better part of one butterfly and same on the other side. Then I got Daisy Dot Paisley. Sorry, you can't see it very well on that side, but 
Nice happy pattern there with pinks and teals and mints and more teals. And Sea Life. Now, I wish this was sold. It hasn't popped up yet. Typically what I've seen, and this is observation only, is the paper store when they came out with their first pairs, and then later, sometime in the near future after that, they came out with the, the pattern, that patterns as individuals on a Vera site. So maybe that will be the trend. I do hope so in this case, because I only need one of each of these. Need, <laughs> I only wanted. But I want multiples of this because I'm putting together a little travel kit so when we can cruise again, which is a ways off yet, um, that I have masks for my buddies as well. So we're all gonna have like matchy masks with these and the shore thing ones. So that'll be fun. But print wise, I got great placement, I think, because on this side, I have the full intact octopus. I've got the turtles, I've got the crab, three quarters of a crab at least right here. You can definitely tell what it is. But I've got two turtles. This one's cut off a little bit, but, but great. And I've got all the pretty blue shells and whatnot in between. And the VB is cut off because it's hidden between the crab. So, but it's on the other side. So let me open this one up because it's not like I'm gonna resell it or give it back or anything. Let's look at it a little closer because this is fun. If you did not know, the Sea Life pattern has a hidden VB in the pattern and it just tickles me because at first I was staring at it, I'm like, is that really? No, it surely is. Um, so here's the side we just looked at, but you can get a little bit better look at it without all that plastic on there. So you can see it is a very geometric pattern actually. There's another turtle on the side we didn't see, but we got the blue shells, etc. And then you have the crab. But then on the other side, you have the paired crabs. And so there is, and it's on all of the sea life stuff. And now that you've seen it, you can't unsee it. VB, Vera Bradley. So there you go. Unfortunately, I have headless seahorses, but okay, they're on there and you can tell what they are. More turtles, headless octopus, but pretty good print. Um, again, this is one of those ones you can't go wrong with, but you're gonna get, you know, something's gonna get cut off because it's all close together. But, but yeah, so now you know about the VB too. And that's all my mess. Next item. This is a first for me. I've never bought any of Vera's photo albums, but I thought this one is nice. Um, just because I like the Foxwood, and there he is right there. So if you're gonna do a set print, have him in it, because why wouldn't you? This is a perfect example, and it looks great. It goes with the flowers, it's just lovely. And then on the back, you have just pretty much all florals. I honestly think some of the other critters could have made the cut, but that's okay. But I really like the front. Oh, and it does have a chipmunk. So you got the fox and then you have a little chipmunk over here and a quail. So there are some critters, just not on the back. And one headless quail at the top on the back. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so, but it's, it's a photo album. So it has a nice interior lining on the first page and you can put your whose it is. And then it has just the pages you can write down below and then you put here, I actually bought this for my travels, gazillions of postcards everywhere I go. And I thought that this could be a postcard. Okay, we'll see if they fit, but that is my plan. And then in the back, there is this little envelope so you can put other little keepsakes. I took the tag off because the tags are stuck right on the thing. Who wants to miss their pretty print? So I took the tag off and I put it there so I'd still remember what it is. Not that you could forget, but that's the photo album in Foxwood. Next item. This is the Packable Extra Large Duffel in Garden Dream. I think this is a great size if you're, you know, for me, for storage, this is how I'm gonna use it. I don't travel with this kind of bag, a big duffel. I don't have much purpose for that. It would be a specific reason if I took this on a trip. But I do travel with my RV a lot. And so packing in and out of the RV and or storing your excess items in the back of the truck, which is waterproof and covered, but you know, it's not perfectly waterproof. Um, so something like this, just to load and unload the trailer for the truck um, for those trips. And because it's a big bag, it will hold a lot, help keep you organized. Um, and it's not truly waterproof, but I do think it's water resistant because it's that sort of midtown fabric. It's just two layers of fabric only, no quilting, no padding. Um, but the pouch, obviously, it folds out into a duffel. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not certain. Well, 
I guess we could. Let's just do it. Click. I don't know how to fold it back. I'll figure it out. Or I won't. But one way or another, it'll go back in. Now, what I do know is that pouch becomes the front pocket. And then you have just extra large stuff on. Which actually, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't really look that big. It doesn't look much bigger than the large, which I happen to have sitting here. So we will look at that. But it has slip pockets on the ends. It has that what was the pouch that folds inside out and becomes the pocket. So that actually has a little bit of gusset to it because it goes on the side. You know, that was your pouch. They have a good half inch um, of pocket. And it is a zip. So I'll leave it unzipped because we're going to tuck it back in. The straps are a nylon strap, but they're pretty robust. You know, they're not a super slicky, they're a semi-slicky um, seat belt, uh, as Potato Peach would call it. But um, yeah, so they're fine. They, are, they go all the way down, but not around the bottom. And that's fine too. I think that just saves a little weight and whatnot. On the back, there is another pocket, a zipper pocket. And there you go. So it actually has some organization to it, which is impressive for a packable, I think. And then let's see what's inside. Yeah, inside, nothing. It's just inside and it's one layer thick. So the only double layer thickness is on the pouch part, which I just pointed the wrong side. It's over here. So the pouch is the double thickness. Everything else, excuse me, everything else is single, but it's robust. It's not like the Super thin, terrible nylon with the grid. No, it's it's much more than that. But very lightweight. And let's just see if we can figure out how to pack this back in real quick. So, there we go. We pinch the top. We're gonna pinch the side. Pinch the other side in. So we fold it right in the middle. Take the air out, that's gonna be fun. Okay, and then I think pinch the bottom. Try and make that fold in half as well. So everything is flattened out, except the air, sorry. Okay, we got air, we got a strap here, strap on the other side. We're trying to get down to pocket on the other side, so let's try. Hang on, I'm gonna bring both the straps over. I don't know if this is right, so don't hold me to this. If it works, remember it, watch it again. But if it doesn't, I'll figure it out later and come back to show you. But I think this is gonna work. So then you just fold it in half. Hey, I think I did it. I think I did it. Yeah, perfect. And then the pocket just flips inside out again to accommodate itself. Hey, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Paul Kelly, yeah. She says, yeah. All right, so there's your packable extra large duffel in Garden Dream. Here, we'll just put it back in here for now. Okay, I said we we're gonna compare size. Now we're not because now I folded it up. Sorry. Okay, this is the sport water bottle. Now y'all know I have way too many drinking vessels already, but this one is different, so I got it. And I love it, it's in French Paisley, which is not really released yet, but you see some of the items are trickling out ahead of the mass release of that pattern, which I think is coming in August, I think. But look at this. So, you know, I talked about the double walled and use of it. It is double walled, it is plastic double walled, both layers. Um, inside is just a purple layer. So they could have put some depth in it, like put some of the print on the inner or done like the, um, Makani Paisley one that had the inside was sparkly. That was really cool. I think that would have gone really well with this too. As a matter of fact, almost the exact interior color, the purple, purple glitter. But anyway, I think if you just put some of the print on the inside and some on the outside, it gives it more depth. But this is fine. This looks pretty good though. Yeah. But it is plastic, so it won't sweat, but it's insulated only a little bit because it's not that true... Well, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know, but it's not going to hold for like 12 hours cold kind of thing. Um, but the top has this handle that kind of can roll to either side. 
And then it has, this is where the sports top comes in. It's a flip top opening with a drinking mouth. So it's a wide mouth, but not a big gaping hole. So that's kind of nice too. So you can drink your water without your ice cubes coming out probably. But why I got this, aside from it being new and different and loving purple and hello, it's beautiful pattern and colors, was also because it's a nice skinny bottle. So I thought this will fit some of the places where like some bigger bottles might not, maybe, that's my thinking. So we shall see, but that's that. Okay, next item, Grand Tote 2.0, I think. I don't know if that has a 2.0. <laughs> This is from the paper store. It is, no, just Grand Tote. And there, scent strip. Okay, this is in red, white, and blossom. This is just a very simple, giant tote. There's really not much organization in it at all. So outside, there's the side. Um, you have big, big base. So it is a big tote. But like I said, it's very simple. So this is the front, it has a tag on the front. It has, um, comes to a point on the sides that you can kind of see. Has two straps, great strap drop, you know, very, very usable. You can put, I think they said 12 beach towels in here. I believe it because, it, you know, if you had them rolled up especially, they'd be pretty easy. But no pockets on the outside. There is one pocket on the inside and it is a zipper pocket right there. And inside is, so everything is reverse of reverse. So um, inside there also, you do have a little key lanyard with the quick clip on it. So you can put your keys there and put your little thing and be as secure and zipped inside. So inside you have your blossoms. And then the rest of it is stars, which I love. And the cool thing about this bag is it is reversible. So if you like the stars better, then put the stars out. And there you go. Okay, so fully reversible. The seams are uh, covered with a, a nice end seam cover thing. And it's just really clean. The top edge is just a navy blue trim on it. So it does work. And then your inside, of course, becomes red, white, and blossoms, which is lovely. There's no zipper, no clip, no closure, nothing. It's an open top tote so a very simple bag but now when you reverse it your pocket is on the outside um, but your zipper still faces the same way so there you go that's that um, I'm gonna set this aside because uh, we're doing a red white and blue review on the next video so you'll see that one again shortly okay two more items we got the casserole carrier in Regal Rosette. So you can see the size of it here and it goes to like right here. You can see the line where the seam is. And then this is just the back of it that's pooched over. So it's about that size. One big pocket on the front. It is like a preppy poly type material. So it's slicky and waterproof and, and has some um, depth to it because it's insulated so that you, you know, don't, you can take your hot casserole to somewhere else. That kind of thing. The front pocket you could use for perhaps utensils or your hot pad or whatever you might need or just put your wallet in there if that's what, whatever. You can put stuff in there. But it doesn't have a lot of depth. It's a flat pocket. It's big, but it's flat. And let's look at the whole thing when you stand it up. Obviously, it's kind of all squashed down right now. But there's your height of it right there. So it stands pretty tall and it is pretty good space. On the front, you have your Vera Bradley label tag and your handles that come up around the back and front, right? And they have this little handle strap. So you put it around and then you can snap it together to itself. Maybe. Yeah. You got to be smarter than the snap, but. And then you have like a handle to grab too. And so it sits and then you can just grab the handle. So you don't have to be searching for straps. But, oh, actually, yeah, you have to undo those to get into it. So let's open the main compartment. You got a loop faux leather, but it's a pretty thick, robust one. One zipper comes all the way around and there's your insulation. 
Very, very robust, actually. It's pretty thick. Thick padding and, and then nice, thick insulation. And then, of course, you can see, I'm not going to pooch it all up. It's just going to get stacked back down. But that's it. It does kind of have like a plasticky smell to it right now. I mean, okay, it's new. Um, so that'll need to air out a little bit, probably. Uh, I'll just put it in here. <laughs> My other stacking spot is full. The last item today is the Grand Weekender, or the iconic Grand Weekender travel bag in Deep Night Paisley Neutral. So this is a performance twill item. I do have the Lay Flat Duffel, travel duffel. So I wanted another travel bag that kind of matched it. So I have those two bags in this pattern. Um, I also have the sling in this pattern. But we'll revisit that later, but I just wanted a big bag. I have one of these. This is my second. My other one is in cotton. It's lilac medallion. And that was back when they first came out. I think that was the first one I saw them in. But they've managed to survive, which is great. So let's take a look at this bag. It is a big bag. So when you look at the Weekender collection, you have your compact, your Weekenders, which includes your Lighten Up, your Reactive, your Cotton, your Deluxe Weekenders, which has a different quilting um, and different configuration. And then you have your Grand Traveler, which is now kind of retired, but is in between the Weekender and this bag. And then you have the Grand Weekender, which is the high end of it. Um, the outlet side, the factory side, does have kind of a mirror shaping, but they don't have, I don't think, the big size in theirs. And there's our um, Traveler, so Compact Traveler, you know, Traveler, etc. Anyway, okay, so this has the nice zippers, the performance wheel zippers. Front pocket is a big pocket. It does run that whole section all the way down. And it does have a pocket, which I think is meant for your cell phone, maybe. Where's my cell phone? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Hang on. Let's see if it fits. So, cell phone, the usual, 6S Plus. And it does, it fits, well, it fits in the pocket, but it barely, barely fits the zipper because of the height of my phone. So that pocket doesn't go all the way down. Let me try and show you. So it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of this pocket, which it should, Vera. I don't know why they stopped it short. It should go all the way down because then it could be used. But because my phone's just right, it's just tall enough that it might not actually zip. Let's try. Ooh. Yeah, I would not put it there because that is way too tight a zip at the end. I don't want to break my zippers. So, so that pocket becomes who knows what. Maybe I'll put some pens or something in there. But the inside is this nice paisley print, which is cool. It's just uh, navy blue with like white and gray. So, there you go. The second pocket is a double zipper, and it goes down to about the place where the middle zipper is. It opens up, there's a better look at your paisleys inside, at least on the front part of it. And the handle is just tucked under right now. This pocket also has no organization. So you have your performance twill on this side and the interior is, um, it's like a nylon as well. So wipeable. Uh, performance twill is of course water resistant, not waterproof, but more water resistant than like lighten up is. So that's good. I'm gonna tuck this strap back in. The strap, by the way, a handle, not a strap, sorry, it's a handle. It is a rolled, padded, yeah, it's pretty pretty thick. But because of this bottom way it is, they do lay flat, which I like. So that's good, they have structure, but yet they lay down. And I think they have a pretty good strap drop because for a big bag, it just gives you that carriage option. You can carry it there. If this bag is full, it's gonna pull this to the side and that's gonna be coming off your shoulder all the time. I could just tell you from experience that is gonna happen. Now maybe if you're a teeny tiny person and your bag's not full, that might actually work. Or if you have one of those, um, I have one actually, I didn't bring it out, but um, it's, it's like a luggage pad, it's a neoprene thing that, just like the casserole carrier, that little strap cover, it kind of, you can put that on there, that might help. But I don't like to carry it by these anyways. I move it around by these, but when I'm carrying this sucker around, it's gonna be, on a trolley, so you got your trolley sleeve in the back, or it's gonna be by the shoulder strap, 
which is to me a way better option. So let's look right at that um, outside first and then we'll go inside. So on the one end, just the one end, you have a nice big slip pocket. So you can easily put a water bottle and or some other things in there. Like for me, if this was my second carry-on, which might not work for some airlines because it doesn't meet TSA requirements. Um, but sometimes you can use it on some of the bigger jets. But if I was using this, I would have like my all-in-one wristlet there and that's my grab and go. And then when I go to get on the plane, I would put it inside. But put that in your water, you could put them both in that same pocket. Um, then you have the strap. So it is adjustable, removable, and padded, and metal fittings. Hugely important on a big, big bag like this because those plastic ones would break in a heartbeat. So I'm really glad that they stuck with metal on this one. Um, other things on the back, now that we're to the back of the bag, you've got a slip pocket on the side. This one is plenty big for your phone. So um, again, they don't go all the way down. In this case, I think they just leveled them off at the same so they could put like the across the middle, so your trolley sleeve section. Um, but honestly, they could have made that go all the way down. But it's big enough that it does work for the phone. It does stick out a lot, which actually might be a good thing for quick grab. Same thing on the other side, you have a slip pocket there. And in the middle, you have your trolley sleeve. This bag does not have the zipper to close that off and use it as a slip. It's a trolley sleeve all the time, so there's no dual use of that particular piece. But it is a nice robust material and it is, you know, blue nylon on the inside, so it's thick. Now, it's not very wide. I have not tried this, but this seems a little narrow. We'll see, we'll see. But look at the bag, big, big bag. Kind of like the Grand Tote bag. So it's nice and wide, it's like longer in this direction. So you're gonna get a lot more in it than you could get in a weekender for sure. And then inside you just have your mesh pockets. You have one, two, three on that side. And on the opposite side you have two big ones. So three and two. And that's it. So inside, pretty straightforward. That's it. And that is it for this haul. Um, so storage wise, those who are interested in that, I just put it back the way it came to me. So tucking the strap in the front pocket, and then just zip up to the edge of it. Tuck the back strap into the trolley sleeve where it was, and then fold the bottom up to the back. So yeah, when you go to use it, there'll be a seam there, but trust me, if you're using it, that's gonna work itself out, especially in this material. But just leave it lay flat, as flat as it's gonna get. So that's how I store that. And that's it for this one. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you stay tuned because the next one is the red, white, and blue review. So bye for now. Washi washi.